Hello my friends, this is Jonesy Boy here and welcome to Electric, where I bring you electronics for the electronics freaks. Today we're talking about 3D printing. I wanted to go over some of the upgrade parts that I printed for my ANET A8 3D printer. I only, I printed about three, four upgrade parts. Uh, currently all of them are in use. One of the main ones that I wanted to show because it's such a large print is the upgrade to the spool holder. So it actually sits on top of the 3D printer, which makes it pretty nice. Unfortunately, I have had some issues with the filament becoming stuck, but I think I solved that. Um, and that goes along with another one of upgrades that I'm going to be doing, which is the E3D uh, version six hot end. So hopefully that works out. I also blew out a hot end and I'll show that to you, or not a hot end, but an extruder uh, using that carbon fiber filament. Uh, unfortunately, it just ate through that, that bronze extruder that I had. Now I replaced it. I just used this, the one from this upgrade kit temporarily until I can print the new parts for this piece. And, you know, I'll get that all situated and put that in another video uh, to show you. Hopefully you enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to show a time lapse of the 3D print. Here you go. All right, here we have the pieces of the 3D print that uh, pulled off the print bed. As you can see, there's some, a uh, little bit of tape and a little bit of white stuff left over. The white stuff's from the hairspray that I used. Um, here, same thing. So I'm gonna kind of sand this a little bit and then uh, hit it with a heat gun and that should, that should get rid of a lot of this white mark. But other than that, I mean, these prints came out 
super nice. One of them did, as you can see here, let's get this to focus. So you can see here, there is a little bit of uh, material that wasn't fully printed properly. Um, and then this is kind of coming apart just a little bit, but it's not too bad. And here you have a little bit of a little artifacting, but not, again, not too bad. Um, this one actually didn't have a lot of, a lot of the white on there, but this had the same issue in the corner. So I, I don't know if it's my print settings or if it's the model that's causing this, but I, I suspect more likely my print settings and the filament as this is the carbon fiber filament. Uh, same here, we had uh, a lot of white action and a little bit of, little bit of artifacting around the edges, but I mean, this, this came out really, really beautiful. And here, had a little bit of artifacting and then some, there were some webs in here. I think I cleaned them all out already. Now there, you can see there's a little bit right there, but that's not too bad. Um, again, this is gonna need to be sanded just a little bit and then uh, hit with a heat gun if there's any uh, white left over. So let's begin the sanding. You can kind of see the difference here, uh, both before and after with the heat gun. I hit it a little bit too long with the heat gun and that, you know, lesson learned there. So I'm just gonna have to reprint this. Um, I'm gonna be careful with this other piece and just sand it just a little bit more. I also do have some water here so I can wet sand with the, uh, with the 320 grit. So I think I'm gonna give that a try as well and see how that works. Okay, my friends, you can see here that uh, this is the spool holder in action. I actually, let's see which part was it? It was this piece that I uh, accidentally melted a little bit with the heat gun. So I went over it with a piece of sandpaper and just got it really finely sanded down and then reheated it back up so that it uh, wasn't, all, wasn't as warped as it was and I was able to actually make it work so I didn't have to waste any more plastic trying to print that piece. As you can see here, it works pretty well. Um, here's one of the upgrade pieces. I'll uh, show a close up of that here. And then uh, another one of the upgrade, a uh, couple of other upgrade pieces here. They're all for um, the filament. This is just a press down knob that's used so that you can add the filament in. Um, and then obviously you can see the mess of tools and stuff in the background here. But this uh, filament holder works out really well. The only problem that I had had is when I hadn't used this piece, 
uh, the filament actually got wrapped around o over here and end up ruining a pretty long term print that I had going on. And not as long term as, as the filament holder itself. That one took about 38 hours, I wanna say, where uh, this other print that I was doing was the upgrade to put the new hot end and everything on, on here. That piece actually was only supposed to take about 13 hours mainly because I did it at a lower resolution and um, you know I didn't really care about about that it didn't really matter that much okay here's a couple of pieces from that print but you can see you know it's just starting to come apart and it uh, stopped about half uh, a little bit before a third of the way through that ruined it pretty pretty badly but other than that the printer's been working well uh, unfortunately, I did seem to have lost the little extruder pre uh, extruder that was ruined by the uh, by using the carbon fiber filament. Um, so I can't really show you that. The end of it was bored out by that carbon fiber filament, so it kind of it ruined it pretty big time. Uh, next step, though, should be to build a specific 3D printing table or. Um, cabinet or something like that so that the 3D printer can just sit on that. I think I'll probably do that in the uh, coming months here to get that situated. Unfortunately, traveling for work is slowing me down here, but I think everything should be okay. Uh, currently, it's printing a, a V29 whistle, which I can show you the finished print of that. Here I have the V29 whistle. Uh, it is ridiculously loud. I think they said it's 180 or 190 decibels, which is, uh, if I remember correctly, a lot worse than a plane taking off. Uh, this is just printing a second one. Um, I'm gonna be giving one of each of these to uh, some friends of mine and uh, hopefully they enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video on some of the 3D printing stuff that's been happening in my studio. If you enjoy watching some of this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of whenever there's a new video on my channel, make sure to hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. If you want to see more content like this, or if you have any suggestions for new content, make sure to make a comment down below. If you want to see other videos that I've created, you can also check out, I believe it's up here, the uh, a video suggestion that I will make randomly uh, at the end of this video <laughs> when I put it up on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.